Hi, so today a video about glutathione because I recently read uh, a very interesting study about glutathione and also uh, it's all the craze recently about glutathione, about N-acetylcysteine, mainly because of the people who choose to get injected this injection that is not compulsory if you don't mind losing your job and your freedom. Uh, but then so many people choose uh, to get this injection and um, knowing that it's poison and then they wonder how can they detox from it um, and you know that's that's how they hear about glutathione and n acetylcysteine so my opinion on that of course is that like avoid getting poisoned uh, rather than trying to cure the poison that would be the, the best thing to do just avoid the poison because uh, we don't actually know if we can detox of this thing of course, if you raise your glutathione levels, it will help. But will it uh, detox your body fr from that? Nobody knows. Um, anyway, I, I have a, a video about, about that, about monkey juice that I made a few weeks ago. Uh, so I, I will put the link up there if you are interested. So getting back to this study. So uh, I will put the link of this study under this video in the description box if you want to read it. So glutathione is a tripeptide uh, that is made of three amino acids, cysteine, glycine and glutamic acid. Okay, The body needs these, these uh, three uh, amino acids to make glutathione. So every cell in our body produces glutathione, but it is mainly produced in the liver. Okay, That's the liver that will make the, 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 the main amount of it. So glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant made by our body. The more we are exposed to toxics, to toxicity, the more our glutathione level um, go down. Okay, So if you want to preserve your glutathione levels in your body, just, you know, uh, don't uh, don't get poisoned. <laughs> uh, stay away from all toxicity as much as possible. Stay away from all kind of pollutions. I talk about it in many of my videos. Um, you know, uh, drugs in general uh, are very toxic. So try to stay away from drugs, uh, from alcohol, from, uh, again, any kind of pollution. You know, prevention is always much more efficient than uh, cure. So cysteine, one of the three amino acids necessary to make glutathione, is a sulfur amino acid that you will find that you will find in uh, sulfur-rich foods. So as I was saying, we have been hearing a lot about N-acetylcysteine uh, lately to detox because uh, N-acetylcysteine is a precursor of glutathione and so when you take it you your body can make more glutathione but some studies show that actually some people cannot convert N-acetylcysteine into uh, glutathione so there's another option that is MSM so MSM also uh, raises the glutathione levels in the body the same way than N-acetylcysteine does because MSM is also a sulfur compound uh, that uh, raises the uh, cysteine levels in the body. So I have a video about MSM if you want more details about MSM. So MSM is a natural compound. It's found in nature, whereas N-acetylcysteine doesn't exist in nature. It's only in in supplements. It's, it's only artificial. Okay, so... Um, my position about uh, comp about supplements is that if you can avoid taking supplements, it's always better. Uh, for vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, I prefer to recommend food instead of supplements. I wrote an article about the dangers of um, isolated vitamins and minerals. I don't talk so much about the uh, isolated amino acids in this article. I also, I also uh, have a video about that. But it's the same problem, you know, like uh, in nature, you never find a, an isolated mineral, you never find an isolated vitamin, you never find an isola isolated uh, amino acid. Um, and when you supplement with an isolated amino acid or vitamin or mineral, it will create imbalances in your body because <clears throat> amino acids 
vitamins and minerals, they always work together with their cofactors, okay? We will talk at the end of this video about what foods to eat, you know, to, to improve the glutathione levels in your body. Um, if you need, if you want, or if you need to take supplements, always choose the most natural supplements. So my choice between NAC and MSM would be MSM because, as I said, MSM is found in nature, whereas uh, NAC is not. Um, you will see in my video about biofilm that I recommend NAC. I do to, rec to uh, um, uh, get rid of Candida biofilm. Uh, I just recommend it because it's a very uh, potent uh, biofilm buster and you don't take it for a long time. You only take it for one month and then you stop taking it. Uh, so anyway, regarding glutathione, it is better to take MSM rather than NAC. Some scientists recommend to supplement with both cysteine and glycine rather than only cysteine. So again, like for cysteine, the best choice would be MSM. And for glycine, it's actually very easy to find glycine in food, as I will uh, talk about in the end of this video. So I, I would not recommend to take uh, isolated glycine. So we could be tempted uh, to take glutathione supplements, you know, like straight glutathione rather than uh, taking its precursors. But studies show that glutathione supplements are not very bioavailable, uh, except glutathione, uh, except liposomal glutathione and sublingual glutathione. But again, um, my first choice would be food because when if you buy liposomal glutathione or sublingual glutathione, it's not how your body is supposed to get it. Um, and it's made in labs in we don't know which way with which um, uh, chemicals. So I don't really trust these types of supplements. If you don't digest your proteins correctly, if you have stomach issues, if your stomach doesn't produce enough acid, then if you can digest your proteins, then you won't have the right amino acids that will make glutathione in your body. Okay. If you have a diet low in proteins, it will be the same. And when I say low in proteins, I mean mainly animal proteins because animal proteins are much more bioavailable uh, than, um, than uh, uh, plant proteins. Okay. So uh, if you are a vegan, if you are a vegetarian, your diet is not the ideal diet if you want to raise your glutathione levels. Okay? And if you, uh, if you don't have enough stomach acid to digest your, uh, uh, your food properly, you need to work on that. I have a whole video about how to heal your uh, stomach. Um, uh, if you have GERD and, and stuff like that, I will put the link up there. The study uh, says at one point that uh, if you supplement with whey protein, it raises your glutathione levels in the blood compared to soy protein because whey protein is rich in glycine. So, yeah, again, if you really want to supplement with stuff, uh, if you want to supplement with glycine and cysteine, then, so for cysteine, we said MSM. For glycine, you can take whey protein. But I, I don't really like whey protein either, because it's still something that is isolated. It's still something that is not natural. Um and uh, it's made in some labs or I don't know how they make it. They use, uh, they use uh, chemicals and usually they use the worst type of milk to uh, make these types of supplements. Um, but you can just eat meat. Uh, we, we will talk about the diet again uh, in a few minutes. Uh, or uh, if you really want whey protein, I mean, you can make your own. You know, if you make yogurt or kefir, uh, you, 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 you just drink the whole thing. Uh, you drink the whey in your kefir uh, or in, in your yogurt, uh, but you don't drink uh, only that. Uh, just kefir and yogurt in general and raw milk, of course. Uh, kefir made from raw milk, yogurt made from raw milk, and raw milk in general is uh, a superfood. This study also says that omega-3 rise the uh, levels of glutathione because they are anti-inflammatory. Omega-3s, you find them in, in fish, okay, especially fatty fish. Again, if you want to supplement, uh, you can choose, uh, you know, a very good brand of krill oil, for example. This study also says that vitamin B2 
B5 and B12 are cofactors for the production of glutathione, but really it's all vitamins B because they all uh, interact together. Again, read my article about isolated vitamins if you want to know more. Uh, vitamin C is also a cofactor for the production of glutathione. Vitamin D is also a cofactor. Vitamin E is also a cofactor. Alpha lipoic acid also. Selenium is also a cofactor. Phytonutrients are also cofactors. Okay, so um, again, you want the whole food. You want the whole package. Okay, so now let's talk about diet. So regarding the diet, um, if you want a diet that will raise your glutathione levels, so as you understood, you need to eat enough meat, enough animal products. So meat, especially organ meats, uh, like liver, uh, kidney, uh, heart, uh, th those are the main ones. Um, you can also eat uh, fish and seafood, that will be great. Regarding uh, vegetables, it will be mainly cruciferous vegetables that are rich in, uh, in sulfur, okay, um, and therefore uh, it will um, produce a cysteine. Um, but also green foods like uh, asparagus, avocado, cucumber, green beans, and spinach. And also you can supplement with herbs. Uh, you can uh, either take uh, herbs, uh, you know, in, in pill forms or you, you can make teas. Of course, it will be herbs that support the liver. Again, because glutathione is mainly made in the liver, by the liver. So it will be rosemary, turmeric, milk thistle, very important, but also ginkgo biloba. Okay, so to sum up, uh, to make glutathione, you need cysteine, glycine, glutamate. For cysteine, you will find cysteine in sulfur-rich foods, okay? Animal foods, especially organ meats, and in uh, crucifer vegetables. Uh, if you want to supplement for cysteine, you can take MSM. For glycine, you will find lots of glycine in, again, organ meats, uh, also in the cartilage and in the skin of the animals. And when you make uh, bone broth or meat stock, you will find lots of glycine. You will actually find lots of glycine, glutamate, and also cysteine. So um, uh, bone broth and, and meat stock are awesome foods for these things. Okay. For glutamate, again, bone broth uh, or meat stock. And uh, also you have a lot of glutamate in kelp and also in fermented foods like cheese or uh, fermented soy. One of the best foods you can eat to raise your glutathione level will be uh, bone broth. And if you put uh, some uh, garlic or onions in your bone broth, it will be even better because it will bring more cysteine because there's not so much cysteine in animal foods. So you can add some uh, vegetable uh, foods that are rich in sulfur, but be careful because sulfur is degraded by heat. So when you make your uh, bone broth, uh, you can add the uh, garlic and or onion at the end, you know, like 15 minutes, 10 minutes before the end, before you stop uh, cooking it. So it preserves uh, the sulfur. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you have questions, if you want to talk about it, uh, please leave a comment. You can also join me on my Facebook group. The link will be under this video. And also I invite you to visit my website, thecandidaslayer.com, where I have a course on how to heal your gut naturally. I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.